Hello and welcome to the channel. Guys, today's video is gonna be over five things that I love about the car. And uh, it's been a little while. I was talking about the five things that I hate. So let's get to it. All right, y'all, so first up is the way that the car looks. It's beautiful. Um, mods aside, even stock, I was just in love with the way that this car looked. And then whenever you personalize the car, make it your own, you, you know, obviously you can follow up with any kind of car, but this one stock looks alone are just gorgeous my favorite for this price segment and um i think a lot of y'all will agree with me Another thing is that we actually have usable back seats in this car. As you can see, I have my son's little seat here. It has the uh, hooks for um, attaching baby seats as well. And if your friends are really short, you can definitely fit them back here. I'm not crazy tall, so I have it now in my normal height, uh, normal seating position. I'm 5'8", so um, short dude, normal height, whatever you want to call it. But you can fit someone comfortably behind me. Um, for a short trip, long trips, different story. Definitely want to go with a four door with a Q50, but usable back seats, not terrible. Like a lot of cars in this segment, it's going to be coming with more and more creature comforts, standard things like two memories uh, for your seating position for you and another driver. Also, heated seats, heated steering wheel in this one. Both seats are uh, power seats. Um, so you can adjust them easily and um, yeah, just overall just a nice comfortable car that can be daily driven I daily mine if you look at my miles there. I know that my tire pressure is low um, So it, it's just a really comfortable car and I feel like if you're in the market for something that you could daily drive that has the potential for a lot of power uh, Decent power to a lot of power depending on how much money and time you want to put into it I think this is for sure one to look into Again, guys, this is just my list of what I love about the car. You uh, may disagree with me, and I want to hear from you guys in the comments down below. Let's have a conversation, but um, I do love this car. I talked a lot of shit about the infotainment system being trash and uh, not really liking the steering because the steering is one of the worst points of the car. But overall, I love it, and I want to hear from the rest of you guys. Honda Accord, also a 2010 G37X, a 2006 3 Series BMW, um, and this is obviously the quickest, the fastest that I've had. Um, not only that, it is a fun car that you can daily drive, which I do, and you have usable back seats, a good sized trunk, uh, versus something like a 350 or 370 that's going to have you know no back seat or like one of the new Supras, F-Type Jaguar, stuff like that, that just aren't as practical. So you need to have a separate vehicle. And then me, obviously having a growing family, I'm gonna have to get a second car uh, just to fit two baby sit, uh, seats as well as other people in it. But, um, and then on top of that, this car is reliable because at the end of the day, it is a Nissan. Um, so Nissan parts aren't crazy expensive. 
Uh, of course, we have belt issues. Um, but other than that, as long as you take care of your turbos, you're not going to have any big out-of-pocket expenses um, for these cars. Franco, what kind of car does Daddy have? Um, gold car. Um, everyone knows it's um, a race car. Ice. Because it has a fin on, on the back and super two turbos. They think it's one turbo or zero turbo, but it's just two turbos. Oh. I, I, I should think he should get 100 turbo turbos to get very fast and very, and very fast. Well, oh. Very fast. Right, Daddy? Yeah. Okay, let's get ready on the car. Like so, yeah, not only does my son love it, it does have a ton of appeal, especially when it's modded like it is, front splitter, rear diffuser, wing, chrome delete. It does catch a lot of attention. So if that's something you're looking for, that's part of the car. It's part of, well, once it's modded, even stock, it can still turn heads. And, um... Yeah, that's that's basically it. Like, comment, subscribe, and see you next time. All right, guys, so that's it for today's video. You heard the little guy. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you all in the next one.